Guys, one of my favorite finishes from that middle position on the leg, it's nice because running the pipe is technical. So while you guys are taking the time to learn that one, I get in on that single leg, right? And I'm pushing into him. Okay, I prefer the leg straight, but the move works the same, even up high on the knee. You guys saw that with the other techniques. What I'm looking to do here, and I'll show you guys more live speed in a second, is I don't have to change anything. I don't have to move my head. I don't have to move my arms. What I'm looking to do is I'm gonna get behind his leg. I swim my leg around or I step around this and I come close to my knee. I do like a sumo stance. I turn my knee out. If you guys look, right, if my knee is in, he has strong balance, don't turn or anything. There's not gonna be much power when I push down on his leg. But when I turn this out, do you guys see what happens towards his knee? Just from moving that knee out, it makes that leg heavy, okay? I don't wanna stack it in my hip. You can stack it in the hip, but I want it at the knee. This is gonna be the best point, okay? And now, just like running the pipe, I'm not looking to move him sideways. I'm going straight down. My inside leg is gonna do a reverse lunge, okay? My knee is wide. See how it turns him out? I'm gonna crunch straight down, okay? Right inside here, guys, swim, stack, crunch. Straight down as I head push in that sense. What's important here, guys, when I come through and step is I'm not just gonna crunch and stay right here. You have those people who like to invert or he's gonna try to push my head down for a reverse triangle or whatever. So what I do when, to finish this so you guys can see, come a little bit closer. When I'm inside right here, I'm pushing. I did my, my single, right? Remember that one, two, three, kick my leg behind. He doesn't even realize he's gonna get taken down until I crunch. As I crunch, right, I drop down with him. I'm gonna shoulder punch inside here, but I'm gonna keep this leg with the back of my hand and just drive into him. I like to slide my arm low because if I catch underneath right here, I like to swim it through and I'll work up towards my seatbelt position. There will be times where, sorry, I'll miss the arm and come up and I'll just fight for the side control and underhook. But there's a lot of times where I catch that arm. You guys will see. So I'm right inside here, kick that leg through, stack, drive. And when I push into him, I drive my shoulder hard into his armpit so that when I turn, it gets me in this position. And now I love the seatbelt position. There's a lot of submissions you can work from there, back takes in that sense but putting the move together a little bit faster so you guys can see it. Stay right here. So I hit my sweep single. I'm driving into him just like that. A little bit quicker, right inside here, push, stack, drive through. And then so you guys can see the follow through right inside here, just like this. And I slide up. See how I caught his arm right there? I swim the arm around. Makes it easy to catch that gift wrap position. Um, one extra little detail that I like to, when you guys become much more expert at it, is I was teaching it to you where you slide, step, and go back. When you get really good, once I come here, it's pretty much a lunge step. So as soon as my leg comes here, I'm gonna straight down. This is where they don't expect it. So I'm holding his leg, he thinks he has a good defense. I get behind. And all of a sudden he falls because he didn't feel my leg pushing on his leg. So when you guys are new, come through, step, come down. But when you guys get really good, you'll come through and drop straight down and you slide up. It works really nice.